Hello! In this video, the theme is really going to be about patience, specifically the ways I need to be more patient in my life, and ways in which I am being patient that are benefiting and paying off for me. For those of you who don't know, know me, my name is Duncan Alderdice, and the reason I'm making these videos is to document the journey I take as I become who I am by making small improvements to my life every single day. So, um, the first item of business that I want to like address is so, uh, I don't know, a few days ago I made a video about um, like the tr struggles of tire kickers and sales. Um, and I think I, I think I jumped the gun on that big time because I was frustrated by a particular individual who had been taking a million calls, uh, uh, calls to make a decision. And that, that frustrated me. Then yesterday I like had the epiphany or just thinking about it going like they haven't signed up. So like really it's an indication not of them, but a reflection of my inability to make them feel comfortable making the decision that will help change their life. Um, and that's again on me. I, I need to get better at that. Lo and behold, today, um, had a couple demos, did, did LinkedIn mostly in the morning, um, but around like four o'clock, uh, I get a notification and sure enough, the guy who I thought wasn't going to sign up had signed up. So he didn't over the weekend, but he did today, which I was like excited about because it was like, okay, fucking yes. Like, like it, the, the, the work actually did pay off like of, of hosting all those follow-ups, but then just kind of like a, okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe I was just a bit. I was a bit too harsh and I think the issue was is I was frustrated that that person wasn't adhering to my timeline and what I wanted and then so I wanted them to close this month and that's because I haven't had many people close this month and so it really matters for that that is the consequence of not me not me not doing as much activity so I'm at this point and the fact that they ended up closing in the end shows that it's just like okay like remember I'm talking to another human being, so I need to have compassion. I might know enough of the, about the program to go like, this is a good decision. Like you should move forward with it. And it's not that big of a deal. Like, like, like fucking make quicker decisions and grow frustrated with that. But then again, I need to remember that not everyone has my worldview <laughs> naturally, because not everyone has gone through the experiences that I have that have led me to this worldview. Even if I may think that it's a more advantageous way of, of operating, that I can't project that reality on everybody else and need to have more compassion and patience and meet people where they are at, not assume like, like it's not like this is how it's supposed to go. You have to fit into this. So again, learning that. So that that's a, a thing to learn. I'm glad that the person closed in the end. I think it's the right decision. Um, but again, it just reinforces the like, okay, number one, it's part of the job is helping someone like taking people taking that time. I don't think at this point, I think I was wrong. I, I don't think taking them out of my calendar would be better. There's question on that in my head. I think the only way I can get to that, that point is when I have excess demand for my time such that that person does actually prevent me from doing other things. Or like at the moment, it's not like I have, like if I have eight calendar slots available for appointments and all eight of like six or six to eight of them are consistently booked and that's a person who is there and then they reschedule and reschedule and no progress keeps, keeps, keeps be, seems to be being made, but they keep booking. That's when I can uh, uh, take the position of like, okay, you haven't made the decision, you're out. But if I don't have a full calendar, it's kind of like, Audacious or ignorant? No, audacious, uh, entitled. Entitled feels like I, I don't know if I'm resistant to just calling myself that. Audacious. Let me just look up what audacious means. Uh, audacious. Showing an impudent lack of respect or showing a willingness to take surprisingly bold risks. It's not audacious. The audacity, arrogance. It, I think entitlement is the right word. Like just more going like, like, like I'm going like, like uh, my time is worth something and going like, yes, my time is valuable and it shouldn't, I shouldn't tolerate people wasting it. Um, but then also if I have like, unless I, all of that time is being used somewhere else and it's actively taking away from something else, then I, then I, I, I can't really justify that. But so, uh, I'm glad that that had a, a nice resolution to it. 
um, two things moving forward number one higher activity so i don't have to worry about this nearly as much number two uh, get better at making someone feel comfortable so they make the decision and then number three is like that's the job i have sometimes these the people will take a really long time normally deals close in one or two calls sometimes they take up a million don't uh, go like i'm not going to treat it as though four or five or six meetings with one person is permissible to make this decision it should be made in one or two i will get the odd one that takes multiple that's my job um then the second thing which is related to patients is the fact that there was a i saw I, there was another channel i won't like mention the name uh but uh that was doing similar videos to to this style like more the, the case of like a daily sort of vlog um and I remember comments going like going like like excited to see you at like day 100. Like I think uh, I forget what com I think it was on like day four or five that I actually I, I actually left that comment. Um, but I thought of them today and then checked their channel out and like their last video that they had posted for this series stopped at 22, um, and that was like a month ago. So they have actually stopped doing that. Um, so then I was going like, oh, okay, so that not everyone who starts this is going to. Now with that, they, they're still posting the occasional YouTube short. So I think that it just is, they're not, they're, they're, they're having more success in, in that front or something. Um, but more. I think it was two things. Number one, it serves as a reminder that actually doing this every single day is tough and you actually have to want to do it for it to succeed. Um, I think another thing is like, like not everyone who starts continues, which is the hardest part. That's the, the, the whole fundamental point, but, but just more going like, like I'm glad, I'm glad I have the patience on, on this respect to build this thing. And I, I'm wondering if it's going like, like, because I have the mentality of like, I'm going, I, if I, I need to do this for five years and it's not going to succeed until five years from now, I am going to try to make it succeed faster but I'm not going to expect it to blow up in 90 days. That's the, the reality of it. It's, it's not going to look like that because there's plenty of things I have to learn. The one thing I am curious about is whether or not I should focus on just building this as a channel, um, uh, like in terms of a marketing channel and forget any sort of other outbound for getting new people into the group. I don't necessarily think that that's necessary. Like, I think it's like, what does it hurt if I just sent out messages? I, I can, it's, it's not that impossible to do both. Yeah, no, I can do both productively. What did you try? Um, but yeah, last 28 days, actually, let me just see the, because last time I checked, it was different. The last 28 days, um, the demographics for the channel have changed. Now we're at 106, 96 subscribers. Did I gain one today? I think I did gain one. Um, but 90.7% of the viewers in the last 28 days were male. So found my uh, viewership, as well as 100% of them are between the ages of 24 and 34, 25 and 34. So in terms of trying to find an avatar to reach out to, if you're a male between the ages of 25 and 34, and you're looking for a group of people who are, no, I'm not gonna do a call to action here. Uh, no, but it just is more going, okay, so that's, that's where I should start, because those are the people who are watching. Um, which is tough, because that's not everyone who joined the group, but I, again, it, like, the, the, it's not, the become who you are isn't, doesn't need to just be for men. It can to start the same way Amazon doesn't just offer books anymore, but it started with books. Like, like start with a, sm a singular specific avatar, gain traction with that, then broaden. Um, I think it's just more because like the, the message I'm trying to promote specific isn't s specifically only men. But if like predominantly men are watching these videos, then like, I should speak to them, as though it is. I mean, we'll see how, we'll see where it goes, how it grows. Perhaps the become who you are message, although not necessarily gendered, resonates more deeply with a particular gender at this current time in society. 
and in 30 years it might not be the same thing but it's like speak to the people who are listening I don't know where that saying is from regardless Clementine Club thanks for sticking around as always and remember to believe in yourself because you're more capable of doing great things than you give yourself credit I'll talk to you later